Get ready for an adrenaline-packed fitness session with rugby legend Joan de Jong from Fierce Fields to the gym. Joan shares his workout secrets with us this morning and fitness philosophy as well. It's time to tap into the intensity that fueled his remarkable 14-year rugby journey. Listen, 14 years, we, we're yeah. not going <laughs> to be able not to... Not too much. Yeah. Not for sure, but listen, the fundamentals yep. are there. And I mean, I've... I've, I've, I've been blessed to train with some top rugby players as well, looking at how they train. <laughs> and it's on another yeah. level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not for everyone. Yeah, not for everyone. And uh, you got to focus on a lot of things. Obviously, when you look at rugby players, it's almost about like the heavy weights, the big squats, the big yeah. benches. But it's all about mobility as well and doing pre-app and re-app as well, just to make sure the small little muscles get you going to, to, to last like 15, 20, and I mean, a whole season, because they, yeah. they play like 32 games a, a season, which is quite... Uh, um, quite long so uh, yeah we got to focus on that and the important muscles which is pretty much your core and your glutes yeah. Yeah, all around as yeah. well like you said I'm glad you say that because this is something that I think a lot of people yeah. even if they just work out in their own space should take account of is don't forget about the smaller muscles yes yes because yes, if yes. you take a look at somebody like you that had a, a rugby career like you've had I mean you wouldn't have had it if you didn't focus on those small, little smaller small. muscles that supports the bigger yeah, yeah, muscles yeah, yeah, so yeah. you have to do a, a kind of a holistic training routine right yeah what are you bringing to the table for us so today? So we're just going to focus on, like I said, now mobility. It's always important just to warm up first, you know, do a couple of mobility, making sure you, you, your lower back is loose, yeah. making sure your hamstrings are loose, your quads and all the big uh, type of muscles to get you going. So first off, we're going to start off just doing the dive dog. So uh, start off like this and then you just put yourselves, you know, uh, try to get your foot down and um, get oh, yourself uh... as... as as high as possible inside your back just to lo loosen up this lower back yeah they're dropping the shoulders so this is very yeah. important you know i mean this is something you can do every morning um just to get yourself going especially when you have an office job and then they call this the dive dog which is just go slowly into it and you release yourself trying to get a nice little stretch with inside your back you keep it there like for five to ten seconds um uh, and then get that lower just, back loose. Yeah, now. get that lower back loose. You can spice it up by looking around just to get your, your neck into it as well. And then up again. And this is something you can do for, let's say, three reps of yeah. 10 seconds, just to make sure you get nice and loose and get yourself mobile. Let's just have one more set into it. All right. Go nice and deep. Try to get yourself down and then through. There we go. There you know, a lot of the office. Stretch on yeah, the belly. On those lower backs, yeah. Then I get yourself up as, as well. And then you can go side to side. Try to get a little bit of extra into it. And then we go up one more time. There we go. Into that. Lovely. Good to get yourself going, especially in the mornings. I mean, this is something you can do just when you wake up. Yeah, before just get shower. your blood flowing. Get your blood flowing. Just before a shower, before you get to that chair that everyone sits in in the office. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And then from there, this one is they call the, the angry um, angry cat, which is just you just tilt yourself into it and you try to get yourself up as high as possible. And um, kind of holding each oh, stretch for a while. Holding each stretch, yeah. Try to get it to five, between five to ten seconds, depending how you feel. You can get low as well. Try to get your chin up and that that curve inside your your back to make sure you get good mobility in in there. Let's do one more. Yep. Ah, perfect. And line again, just to keep working at that lower back, because your lower back is something you got to focus on to make sure it's nice exactly. and straight. Exactly. Yeah, and from there, while you're on there, you can just go try to get your arm through, stretch that latch as, latch as well in the morning. Oh, that feels which great, is, Which though. is quite good. Yeah. It's very important just to make sure that your whole back, so you, you don't want to yeah. focus only on the lower back, you want that upper back as well. And on the other side, and you can all just keep holding it for 10 to 15 seconds, depending on how you feel. If you feel yeah. tight, you can keep it a little bit longer. And it's ideal to put as much time as possible into the small little stretches. And oh, to, sure. to advance it a little bit, to get an extra stretch, is sometimes to hold your hand over there. Oh, really? Just anchor your hand there, and then you can have a proper stretch away. Oh, boy. Just to make sure that you do get a long, long stretch and get that lats open up. This is actually quite nice. I've yeah, never done this one, I guess. You can actually feel it immediately. Yeah. yeah, all the way down into the hip. Yeah. Keep it there for 10, 15 seconds, and you can move around to the other side. There we go. <sighs> That is lovely. Yeah. And the thing is, with this stretches is like this, like relax into it. Mm, yeah. And breathe. 100%, yeah. You gotta breathe into it. That is nice. And also, you need to, to try to get it as closest to your, your yeah. touchy point, just because the closer you can get to that 
tight stretch. Yes. The battle will be... You can feel it. Yeah, yeah. the battle will be in two or three or four weeks from now. Ah, Perfect. I think that's good for, for mobility. Um, yeah, mobility for us is very important, making sure that... We <laughs> Yeah, I know for sure. Get yourself <laughs> loose because you can't squat 200 and 250s or leg press if, if you're not no. loose in the lower back and, and stuff. And because everything works together. The yep. body is a unit. Everything yeah, yeah. just works. If one piece is off, you are going to hurt you, yourself. You are going to hurt yourself, yeah. yeah. So, so technique is important and being mobile is, is important, right. yeah. And I think this goes like again, I mean, yes, we are talking about, you know, heavy spring bulk workouts, yeah. but, you know, for us in general, day-to-day -day life, day -day, yeah. stretching is super important. Super important we don't yeah. stretch enough. All right, let's move on. What else? Yes. What else? So that's mobility for us. And I'm just going to do a little bit of, of, of strengthening work. Okay. Because like I said now, core strength and glute strength. Yes. Um, glute meat, glute uh, in, in total is also important because that's muscles we don't focus on. Absolutely. Because usually just want to go for the big muscles. Yeah, so, um, the mirror muscles. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to start off, just to, get, to activate the core, um, it's, they call it mountain climbers. So ah. it's, 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 it's over there in just a normal running style kind of yeah. kind of feel to it. So one each, you know, tighten that core, try get that proper plank, like you would plank a minute or like you five yeah. minutes in, in this case. <laughs> <laughs> um, just try and make sure that you nice activate, your glutes is now activate and you're nice and straight. And you can do that maybe 10 on the side, three times, and you can take a good break. And from there, you can go into the side. Uh, side obliques, pretty much similar. You can turn your head a little bit to it just to make sure you get to get that crunch. Get that crunch in here. Yep. Because your core muscles and your deep, deep core muscles are very important to, to support your back. Absolutely. So from there as well, you can also do three times ten. Make sure you activate that. Lovely. Um, yeah, that's. Uh... Quite something. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite something. So core is very important. And then we want to work the glutes as well. I don't know if you heard about the dead bug, um, which is the quite... The dead bug? Yeah, it's a dead bug. It's pretty much... Oh, the dead bug. Yes. When, you, when you're in that position, it looks like a bug. That's <laughs> pretty much all <laughs> yeah. it. So what, what's very important over here is to get to 90, 90 degrees on your knees, okay? All right. You get your hands nice and straight in front of you, and you alternate. So if you go left hand, you go yeah. right leg. So from there, ah, you yes. just move it. Across. Try to keep that other foot at 90 degrees and then you move it across as well. The important thing here is control, control yeah. and be strong with inside your core as well. You don't want to have that arch back. You'll be nice and controlled, making sure everything is activated from your core to your glutes because this will also support your your lower back. And this is the, one of my best exercises actually when it comes to... I mean, to this support. pulls all across the so core. Supporting my lower back here. Yes. From here as well, you can even if you if you wanna if that's too easy for you, you take a little weight. Yeah. You do the, exactly the same thing. Oh really? So in the same position over here, you need to just take your weight and just get it extra. Wait, I gotta try that. Extra feel to it, yeah. And then you can swap around from there. Yeah. Your other way, you keep it alt alternate, and that will just activate yeah. your core a little <laughs> bit more. Making sure if you do this, also you can go, you can start with eight a side and move on to 10 or 12, depending how strong you are. But it's important to keep nice posture. You don't want to get your it. legs outside. You don't want to get inside. You don't want to arch back. You want to flat back. Or drop the weight on your face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the case, yeah. But yeah. that definitely adds just yes. a little bit of spice. <laughs> a little bit of spice to, to it. You can put even an elastic band around your feet and yes. that will also work the heat, fle uh, the, the heat that, flexes yeah. as well, yeah. So as long as your hips are nice and strong, your movement over day-to-day yeah. -day will be But massive. it just shows you, I mean, mm. core is essentially one of the most important yes. things because everything resonates from the core. 100%, yeah. Legs, upper body, everything. And the core is not deep just posture. the stomach muscles, yeah, it's, it's all deep. around as well, the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, it's a deep, deep muscle. So what our physicists teach us as well is when you cough like, <coughs> when you yes. feel that, that internal contraction. Is that internal contraction. Once you're strong over there, Everything is stronger. I, I yeah. tell you now, your bends will improve, your squat will improve, yeah. because everything... The lower back issues might subside. Yes, so a lot of things comes from the core, and that is an exercise and a, a, a muscle that no one actually wants to... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, ...wants to work out, just because of how tough it is to, to plank, how tough it is to do it, what type of pain you have to go through to get better. Yeah. So um, that is the that is very important for especially the people out there in the office that wants to you know feel good, look good, yeah. and just make sure that they can move around. Easier. I love that, John. Yeah. Thank you very much, thank my brother. Much. That was so good. Yeah. That was so good. Fitness with an absolute legend this morning. Go ahead.
and try these things for yourself and go into 2024 happy and healthy.